Hey guys, hey. So I thought I would come to you with more of a vlog today. My mother-in-law is coming up, so I will not be able to go to the gym unless it's super late. Um, I also have therapy today. So therapies are on Monday and Fridays, um, if you're ever slightly tempted. And of course, the moment I start talking, Yuki comes over here. Come here. Got everything. Come on. So the moment I start chatting, Ooh. Yuki wants to come and say hi. Oh, there's a baby. He said hi, Punky Pie. So, uh, today's topic, do not eat my Christmas cactus, please and thank you. Uh, <laughs> no? Uh-uh. So, today's topic is the hell happened to my hair. No, that's not it. Uh, this is what happens when I don't, when I take a shower and then I just let it do its thing. <laughs> Y'all like that? So today's, today's topic is something a little, a little hard for me. Um, it, it's. I've gotten some messages of people who are thinking about getting a revision or are interested to know why or would like more information. Um, if you look up distal bypass on YouTube, there's one person and she stopped making videos two years ago and the videos she did make were not very informative and it's kind of a big, eh, <laughs> a big fat. Uh, um, I messaged her, no answer, uh, it was very, very sad, but I did find some people on Facebook that, um, were willing to kind of, kind of chat with me, um, here and there, and there are some nutritional issues that these people have faced, there are some, some of them that have had no issues, it is like every other surgery, if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't know what you're getting into, and you don't prepare yourself, you are likely to have a complication, having said that, I can't prepare myself for everything, like, I didn't prepare myself for my band slipping and my port moving, uh, port migration, um, I couldn't prepare myself for that. I mean, I knew it would be a possibility, but until you get into it, like you never know that's gonna happen to you. So that's the first thing I kinda wanna pop out there is, hey, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have the sleeve done, you're gonna have the r &Y done, you're gonna have the DS done, you might have a distal done, you might have something, those balloon things that they know, they're all kinds of hoopa -jube. Um <laughs> You run the risk of having a complication. Honey, you run a risk of having a complication when you have your wisdom teeth taken out. Like, it's just, if you're having your body worked on, if you're letting somebody chop your shit open and, like, fuck around with your stuff, you have a, you have a risk of a complication. You have a risk of dying every time. I have a risk of dying going up to the bathroom, taking a shower, and then ending up with this hair. No. But, I mean, slipping in the shower, bumping my head, badow. Um... So, what am I doing to prepare myself for this next leg of my journey? Uh, the first thing I did was, you know, I talked to my surgeon, I talked to my, my bariatric group, um, I, I pulled all the people who are important to me together, and I was like, here's what I'm facing, what do you think? So, the first thing I did was I started, you know, kind of picking and pulling people's brains, you know, picking everybody. I was like, okay, well, what do you think? Do you, have you ever, would you, if it was you, if it was your mom, you know, if that's the first thing I did was, you know, I, I was like, okay, this is a, a possibility. Let's, let's get everybody's collective brain rolling. And then of course I brought it to you guys, which has been incredibly helpful because I have been able to pick your brains and you guys' comments and you know, the, the way you're there for me, even in times when like I can't be there for myself, even when I'm just like, you know, on autopilot. It helps me a thousand times over when you guys comment or, you know, hey Nirvana, you know, it's not like that, or hey Nirvana, you know, it's gonna be okay, or hey, I need to hear that. Like, no, n no, stay in there. Sometimes I just need to hear that. 
I don't know very many people who have had more than two weight loss surgeries. I know two people and both of those people are amazing. Um, one is Pink Fish Lily. Um, I will try, <laughs> I will, I will try to link their stuff. If I don't link their stuff, somebody help me out and link their stuff in the, in the comment section because you know I'm squirrel. Um, and Mandy Revised Army Wife. Uh, these ladies have gone through the gambit just like I'm about to go through the gambit of um, weight loss surgeries, uh, fails and tries and, you know, complications. Not really fail. I don't mean fail as in like they failed. I mean as if things happened to where whatever they had, like the lap band. I believe both of them had the lap band too uh, is what they started with. Matter of fact, uh, it was lap band, sleeve, and... DS for Pink Fish Lily, and it was lap band, sleeve, and now R and Y for Mandy. So if you guys don't follow them, uh, do so. If I link something, if I tell you I'm gonna link something, there's gonna be a little circle, like like y'all, right up here, little tiny circle, about right y'all. That is a card, and that means that you can click it at any time. You know, you see that little hole, that, and it might be a video that I've posted um, for you to check out next, or it could be a channel, like Jody's channel I had up there in my other video with Jody in it, which means that you can click on that anytime um, during my video, and you're like, oh, I'm done with you, Nirvana, and you could go and check out whatever I've linked. Or if you're looking for a recipe or something, and, and I've mentioned it, you know, I can post it up there instead of having to poop it down at the bottom with the little shit that I forget about off topic. I'm always off topic. This one will be a long one because I have lots to say. When I have lots to say, I bring it out. So you might have to come back or if you don't have time to watch me. Um, so anyway, so I just wanted to really tell you that I super appreciate everybody's input, uh, good and bad. I really appreciate the support that I receive. I really appreciate everything, number one. But what am I doing to prepare myself for the distal? Because I am definitely getting the distal. My husband and I, my collective group of loves, and you guys have definitely, you know, helped me out here um, of what I need to do to get to that next step, that next bump on the road. So the first thing I did, of course, I talked to my surgeon, then I talked to my loves, and then I talked to you guys, and then... Now I am in full research mode. That's how I do things. Um, I immerse myself into whatever I can get a hold of because I'm like a sponge. That's why you guys can ask me stuff and like I'm just like, oh, well, it's this or oh, oh it's that. And no, it, this, it's, this is good and you can do this and, and how about that. I'm like an information sponge. sponge. I don't know why this is a whatever. Um, <laughs> universal sign for sponge. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> um... So, I am researching people who have the distal. I am, um, not distal, the DS. Because, because um, the food, the caloric intake, the protein levels are about on par, and the vitamin levels are on par with the distal. So, having said that, I don't know why I talk with my hands. I've always been like that, like... I don't, I can't help it. Like, I can't, I can't be like, okay, got because I'm just going to be like, <sighs> squirrel. Okay. It's, I just woke up and I haven't had any coffee and I forced, the, another thing, I'll, I'll get, I'll get to all this. I am researching people on YouTube and on Facebook who have the distal who are not complete asshats. Ass hats, and if I was able to put stuff up here, I would put an ass with a hat on it. But I don't know how to do that yet. So pretend I've put a picture of somebody's butt with a hat on top of it. It would be, uh, it would be a top hat because I would assume that the ass hat thinks it's really classy and knows what the fuck it's talking about when it never does. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to learn how to do that, and when I do, my videos will be so much more entertaining because I'll be like, ass hat, ass hat. Um, I am having um, trouble finding people that I can trust, uh, that I, that continuously do videos, that, um, 
that haven't been like, oh, well, I just stopped taking my vitamins for six months. And I'm like, meh. You, <laughs> like, you'll go and watch people's videos and they're like, oh, yeah, well, I just, I just didn't feel like it or I forgot or, and I'm like, what, 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 what? So for me, I'm just like, so that's what I'm doing is I'm researching anybody I can really get a hold of that I can see that has success, which is what I tried to do with the gastric bypass, which is why I talk about Mama Rose and then I have the ugly cry every damn time, which I'm not going to do today. Um, I got on Wellbutrin. Um, I am, I think, two, two or almost three weeks into doing Wellbutrin. A-okay. Feeling all right. Um, I did notice uh, some weight gain, but I think that's just because I'm fat. <laughs> like I'm not. I'm not even gonna be like, oh well, you know, Wellbutrin made me gain because you can gain or you can lose on Wellbutrin. It just really depends. Um, but it's only. It was only a five pound difference, and I think it was also some water and some salt. So I mean, it's down again, back to three oh five as per usual um my body just loves 300 pounds <laughs> boy doesn't it um so yeah i'm in information mode if you guys have any gleans if you guys know somebody um who has the ds who isn't a complete asshat uh i would love to get a hold of them and just kind of pick their brain i am I stopped all holding waters. I stopped all water enhancers. I no longer use any water enhancers. And you guys don't know how hard that was. You don't know how hard it was. So I also do not drink cold water. Um, it doesn't feel good and I tend to drink a lot less of it. So I drink completely tepid water, which means that it is um, water that's been sitting out. Uh, you know, I don't even bother to put it in the refrigerator or add ice or anything to it. And I'm able to get it down a lot better. And weirdly enough, as soon as I stopped putting water enhancers to my, my drinks, like, it tastes sweet to me. Like, slightly sweet. I don't know. Maybe it's just a tr trick of the mind. But I go through typically eight of these a day. I go through eight of these a day. So... I have noticed that my skin is clearing up, that I am having, um, like, I'm less dry. I've noticed that um, I feel more thirsty now than I ever have, and I'm not a thirsty person. She ain't thirsty. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, then you know, probably don't want to. Um, but that's my body telling me, hey, you need more water. Hey, you need to get more water, and you need to do some water. Um, so the only other beverage that I drink is coffee. And as you see, I just woke up. So until I finish this and possibly half of another one, I refuse to have coffee. And that is the hardest thing for me ever. It is so hard, but I know with this distal that I, it's going to be even more important for me to get as much water as I possibly can in um, to stay hydrated. Because you guys know, if you follow me and how long you followed me, every single time I have surgery, I end up my big old butt back in the hospital with dehydration issues and possible kidney failure. Just it, it's always bad. So if I can get in the habit of just like going to town and like mindlessly all freaking day long like I should have been doing the last three years but we don't talk about that and then with it's a possibility that I may be okay with this so pray for a girl pray for me for my water for my water and as you can hear my gurgling of said band um <laughs> your days are numbered <laughs> you have an eviction notice uh, yes you do uh June the 10th so eviction notice that bad boy bye bye um so people have been asking me and i'm assuming that the people that asked me have not gone back into my other videos because i have so damn many i have like 460 some odd videos um i've been doing this for a while i'm not even gonna put the top on it because i gotta finish it um band um what was i saying Ah, oh, shoots and ladders. I don't remember. 
I put a little picture of shoots and ladders up here too. Oh, <laughs> squirrel. It's almost time for me to take my Wellbutrin, like maybe in like two hours. So I'm probably just, it's probably wearing down a little bit and I'm like, um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. I really do. Um, I was talking about water. I remember that, but that's about all. No. Um, oh, people have been asking me about the band. That's what I was like, band. Squirrel. The, I do, wow. Hello, McFly. I don't. But forget that subject because I completely forgot what I was going to say. And now I'm just like. Good I was talking about water and I was talking about band and I was talking about no, do revision. No, 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 come on. See, I always have like subjects to talk about and then my mind goes. On like sleep mode. Like it's. I have little Z's over here. I want to learn how to do that because I think my videos would be so much, so much more entertaining, but it would probably take me even longer to edit them than it already does, and you guys have no idea how long it takes me to edit these videos. OMG. Um, oh, yeah, so I'm going to have the, the it's, uh, oh, yeah, eviction notice. I remember. Uh, it's got an eviction notice, so June the 10th is coming out. I'm really excited about it because for an entire year, I have done nothing but vomit. Like, I don't share that with you guys because I've already told you about it. Like, I was telling you about it at the very beginning, and I thought it would get better, but it didn't. Um, I only have 5.5 cc's in my band, so it's not even like I have a full shit ton of water sitting in my band. I don't. And if he takes water out of it, then the rapid dumping starts where I have no restriction and if it puts too much in it then I vomit even more. So I had a choice of hey do you want to pretty much starve to death and put more water in it so you have more restriction so you have to eat less and then vomit more or you can just leave it like it is and when he takes it out you'll actually be able to eat food again. I haven't had anything substantial uh, for a year. I pretty much eat rotisserie chicken with tomato sauce on it almost every single solitary day or luncheon meat or yogurt. I'm tired of those items. Uh, I would like some beef. Where's the beef? I would put it up here. Where's the beef? Um, dog hair. I'm on a steady diet of dog hair. If you have dogs, you know what I'm talking about. Nah. Um, so, things are going to be really rough and really hard for a while. And I, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to get this over with. I'm ready to get what needs to be done done. I'm ready for this next chapter of my journey and unfortunately my journey has to be a little harder than than most people I know. But you know I think there's a reason why I have to go through all of this so I can share it so people who you know are having to go through stuff like this too don't feel quite as alone. Um, you know, I think that it, I'm a very big believer in God, and I know a lot of you aren't, and that's okay, but it makes me feel better at night, uh, to know that somebody's got my back, somebody bigger and better than me, and stop crying, stop it, um, this, this year especially, um, when I changed my ways from last year, when I did a complete 180 when I, you know, or 360 to turn around. 180 is only half. I only went halfway, girl. Um, when I did a complete 180 uh, and changed everything that I, I needed to change, including, you know, um, getting my shit together, God opened up doors that I never thought would be open for me. Um, you know, in in my head, in the way I think about things, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You know, my dad's death, my brother's death, everything 
happens for a reason and it's hard it's hard to accept it when the things are happening but later on down the line you can kind of look back on it and be like oh well you know what I had to go through this to get to this this led to this this led to this so my RNY my complication with the RNY my complication with my my gallbladder led me to being able to be moved here to California because had I not had so many issues with my gastric bypass, we would we would probably have ended up someplace else. And God needed me here, so I had to go through that. And then having the lap band put in was to was another thing. It helped me get my panaculectomy, so that that was another thing right there on like quit that. You guys over there licking her paw, I can't stand that. Um you know, he, he gave me what I needed at the time to get where I needed to be. You know, so now I'm going to have the distal. And hopefully the distal will help me get off the rest of my weight and help me achieve the other things that I'm, I'm trying for. You know, um, I've gotten questions like, you look good at 300. Why would you want to, you know, why would you care to go under that? You're doing so much at 300. Because there's so much I can't do. There's so much I'm not able to achieve at 300 plus pounds, and I'm not guaranteed to stay here at 300 plus pounds, um, and that's hard for me. That's really hard for me. Um, you know, on one hand, you you say, yeah, okay, well, I guess I could stay here. I mean, you know, I've been living this for forever, but what would 230 pounds feel like? What what kind of weight would be lifted off my joints? What, how much more energy would I have? How, how much better would I feel about myself if I got down to where I wanted to? How much better would I feel if I was able to remove the rest of that? Like, in, in, you know, to me, in here, I'm like, because I'm not able to get what I want done, finished, until I get the rest of this weight off. And if my body does not allow me to get the rest of it off by myself, spittle. Then I have no other choice but to try a different avenue, and God opened up that door for me. My surgeon could have said, huh, no. Uh, you know, he could have been like, no, mm -mm, you know, you're done, girl. Like, I'm sorry. You know, you, you know what? R and Y, band over bypass isn't working. Sorry. You know, wash my hands of you. Come back every six months for some blood tests, and, uh, you know, sorry but he didn't he understood my plight he sees how hard I work he knows that I'm doing the best that I can and you know he's like okay well you know I have one more you know trick up my sleeve let's let's see if we can get you where you need to go and I'm I'm gonna take it I'm gonna I'm a, you know I have prayed and I have sat in the chapel and I have lit candles for other people and I've done everything I can to be a good person and to be helpful to the community and to give back as much as I have gotten. And this is just another part in my journey where I know that I need to share it. I need to show people that, you know, yeah, it is scary, but if this is what you really want, if this is what you really need, if this is, if you've tried everything else, if if you've done all that you can do and you know it in your heart of hearts that you've done all that you can can do and the door opens up you need to step through it because it's open for a reason and it won't be open forever opportunity is not a lengthy visitor and you need to realize that that is one of the biggest things I've ever ever like grown to understand opportunity is not a lengthy visitor you need to take the opportunity when you have it because you never know when that door is closed and then you don't have that you know chance ever again so the very last thing I'm going to do is share some really good news with you guys because I'm I've, I've made god knows how many minutes this was because it cut off halfway in between um I am going on a trip in a favorite rocket ship. No, no, I had to listen to that little Einstein's thing when I was babysitting that kid and it's still in my brain meets and I'm like, mm. um, I'm going on a trip and I'm super excited about it. 
um, one of my really good, amazing, crazy, best, awesome friends wants me to come and visit her. And I will be visiting Portland and Vancouver. I don't even know what to say. Um, you know, we've kind of tossed it around back and forth, and now the opportunity is here, and I'm going to go visit Michelle Wheeler. Wheeler, that's my accent, not that I don't know her name. Uh, <coughs> um, I'm going to go visit her in July. So a little after a month after my surgery, I'm going to go visit her and do some volunteer stuff and just um, meander around Portland and have some amazing, fun vegan times because she's vegan and I'm dying to immerse myself in it and see what it's all about and try all kinds of vegany stuff. So maybe I'll like some of the stuff and then come home with it and be like, I like this vegan stuff. Here, y'all like eat this. Um, mm. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm counting down 51 days, girl. 51 days, girl. And I will be there. And hopefully, you know, we will. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I want vacation. Vacation for Nirvana. All right. So I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I love your beautiful, amazing, gorgeous faces. And if you're struggling right now, no. I understand. If you're struggling with your weight, if you're struggling with staying on track, I get it. I get it. You know, you always got a friend in me. You always got somebody to chat with. Um, oh, my messenger doesn't work very well. Um, I get intermittent uh, messages on my Facebook messenger. So I will get somebody's message like, 10 days after they sent it or I will get somebody's message like two or three hours after they sent it so if you've sent me a message and I don't respond within the first couple days either a I'm super busy B I just don't see it because I get so many and it scrolls down or you know B uh, it's Facebook's fucking with me so please don't be like oh they're not the worst person ever because she didn't answer me when I see it I'll get to it I promise I, I just I'm I'm having issues with it right now and I keep downloading it and re-uploading it. So I gotta go guys. 